In his 1930 essay, Economic Possibilities for Our Grandchildren, the economist John Maynard Keynes made a notorious prediction. The economic problem may be solved, or be at least within sight of solution, within a hundred years. In a hundred years' time, he hoped, that would mean roughly the present day, we might barely have to work at all. Why did Keynes predict this? He was thinking about technological improvement. In 1991, the economist Juliet Shaw calculated that work had become twice as productive as in 1948. If consumption had stayed level, Shaw reported, every worker in the United States could now be taking every other year off from work, with pay. But the reality Shaw found was very different. In fact, Americans were working longer and harder than ever before. The same was true to varying degrees of other developed nations. Rather than producing the same amount with less work, these societies had chosen to work more and consume more. What did Keynes miss? He was aware of this issue and how consumer culture might lead us to crave more goods and services, but not everyone working hard today is a rampant over-consumer. Many have to work long hours just to earn enough to survive. While it might not take many hours to produce all the goods and services a person needs for a week, some people's wages are so low that they have to work much longer hours to afford to buy those things. Without welfare support, help from friends and family, savings or debt, a single person living in a major city in Britain might need to work around 40 hours on the national minimum wage just to cover the most basic cost of living for a week. In the US, it could require over 100 hours. But the rich haven't escaped from overwork either. According to one survey, 62% of the highest earning Americans work more than 50 hours a week. 10% work more than 80 hours. Finding, keeping, and being promoted in an elite job means pushing yourself to the limit. Otherwise, a harder working competitor will edge you out, leaving you to live on the limited resources that are left over once the elite salaries have bought up everything else. Overwork today has more to do with inequality than productivity. Strangely, it forces overwork onto both the poor and the rich. What Keynes called the economic problem is also a cultural and political problem. Reducing work in future might require us to transform the legal and cultural foundations of our society. Such transformations are always dangerous and unpredictable. The philosophical question is whether they are worth the risk. What do you think?